That's super exciting. You can now exciting. go in and train your players. You get five five spots in a week to train uh, slots. Uh, you can go away and you know train up different players. You can try and make your first team better or. You know, it's a great way to use, um, uh, train up uh, youth players as well. And this is but the first time a lot of people will be seeing this game running this is for the, the first, first time. This time, is the world yeah, premiere. That we've actually shown gameplay camera at uh, the game running. We've, we've really changed a lot of gameplay this year, we, as we talked about in the press conference, you know, innovating across the entire pitch. We've really looked at, um, you know, all of our core systems. Um, you know, how do we improve defending? You're going to find see that it's, it's easier to keep with the attackers, uh, even, you know, uh, Messi's and Ronaldo's are quite difficult to, to sort of stick with. We've done a lot of work around the agility of players. Um, we've also done work around how the AI covers for you in defending uh, as well. So, you know, we'll try and point a few things out here. Maybe we'll see the passing with purpose in a second, which is just right bumper. That's a lovely and, ball. Uh, that's a great ball. You can see there that the two centre backs are covering four people. Yeah. Well, they could get quite split last year, so. They're covering for each other a little bit better. It seems there, like defensive intelligence. Is yeah, a lot that's greater. the new passing there. You know, especially when you've got you know players around you. What you're going to notice is that de defensively, you see right there, um, players are much more aggressive at trying to win back the ball and yeah. intercept the ball, which where the passing with purpose really comes sort of into that, play. Yeah, you know, biscuits there closing down. Yeah. <laughs> Or Biscuit, Biscuits. I always mispronounce his name. I call him Biscuits because it's a shorthand. So actually, that right there is a, it was, you know, it's from quite deep, but. Um, that was new, new uh, crossing logic. So we've completely reworked all our crossing targeting. Yeah. So balls are now getting more in behind. You're trying to get the attackers to run onto the ball. It's more authentic. We might see it here in a second. Um, but it's also a bit more timing be uh, related. Oh, that's a great, that's a great header. Um, that, that, was that Messi? Was that? was that you? Well done. And now it's a brand new thing here. So run towards the camera, you get wow. new camera celebration. That's so incredible. There's two, play there's two cameramen on each yeah. side. Run towards them, you get new celebrations. After you've done it, I... Uh, that was Jordi Alba scored. There you go. I, I challenge you not to do it once you've done it once. Yeah, that camera. I think people love the celebrations as well. Things, right? It is. Yeah. It's that, you know, that gives you that sense of you're in a real match yeah. and you're, you know, you've got control over the, all the elements. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I'm really excited about is the new, like, the, like you say, the touch you don't take with the dribbling. Yes. So that's left bumper, I and mean, maybe we'll see that, we can get the guys to do that in a second, but uh, you hold down left bumper and you can now decide not to touch the ball. You can, you know, use body position, swerve, you know, do feints, which is really nice. And that's such a simple thing that's going to have a huge impact yeah. on the way people play. Absolutely. I think it also kind of makes skill moves, if you like, a little bit more accessible because it's kind of a skill move in itself. Mm. Uh, safe. Oh, did it go out there? No. Ellingsman. You can see uh, the lines on the pitch. Sorry, I didn't point that out. You got the spray. Oh, so you've got the yeah. referee spray yeah. now. Oh, my God. Little touches like that, really, exactly. you know. So there you go. There was an interception there. Yep. Probably last year, there's a likelihood that the, the, the defender wouldn't have tried to get that ball. So it really makes you think about, um, you know, what you're doing in midfield. Brings the midfield back into play, which is something, uh, you know, the community really wanted back. It was quite easy to bypass the midfield yep. last year. Um, you know, that was a bit of a stronger pass right there. Maybe we can get a cross in as well. Took a deflection. Oh, off the bar. That's a great cross. And, you know, it, the, the physics in, in the game and the mechanics yeah. have always been solid with FIFA. And, yeah. You know, these new, you know, the new passing mode, the new defending mode, the new yeah. dribbling mode, they're just going to add to the, the Absolutely. Sensory. There you go, another whipped in cross oh. there. And it's much, much more dynamic now with the crossing yeah. system and the, the passing system, as you say. You know, yeah. you know, there's a, there'd be a lot of times where people do like the, you know, straight through midfield. It's almost a hundred percent guarantee of a pass. That's not going to exist anymore. Well, exactly. Anymore. And I think you know, we, we are finding a lot. You know, a lot of play, players were playing with um, with Ronaldo. Uh, sorry, with Real Madrid. Yep. Uh, especially online. So you know, by tightening up the midfield, helping you in defending. Um, you know, we don't want to take away that. You know, dribbling felt really good, and we don't want to take that. We haven't taken that away, and, it, and we've added to it with no touch. But um, you know, we wanted to tighten things up a little bit. It means that there won't be one over pervasive tactic. You know, speed was, was sort of quite overpowered last year. He wanted to balance the game. We talked about a lot about balance this year, um, which means I think you'll get more variety in the you know the teams that players are using. Oh, I mean, it, this can't be. A, this is obviously a, a game because uh, Quadrado is playing on the right wing for Chelsea, yeah. so that, that can't be right. And obviously all the new kits and stuff. We see the new Barcelona kit with, yes. the, with the hoops this year. Oh, and, uh, oh it's terrible oh. defending. Who Terrible was finish. that? Terrible finish. Suarez. Suarez couldn't finish. Sat up for him beautifully. Can Chelsea break here and make the, the difference? Make it make it pay. There we go. Oh, there's the man over. Oh, it's a good run. He's no, off. He's, he's off. off. Just couldn't quite hold it, Fabregas. Okay. 
But yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we're seeing you know gameplay footage for the first time, and you know, just this, this, almost this part of the game is something I was really excited for last year. Is yeah. the replays, yeah. the, the match summaries? It feels so kind of part of football. Yeah. So we've added stuff as well to that. We've got, especially in, which will obviously come out in career mode. We've kind of got the story of the game. More, a more kind of tracking of what's going on. Mm. Uh, we even sort of talk about transfers as well um, this year. So, you know, lots of little touches like that. You'll see, uh, we, we saw the running to the camera earlier. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, you know, we'll also, you can actually celebrate with subs now as well. Oh, wow. Uh, in certain situations. So, little touches like that. Well, well, you know, as you were saying earlier about the career mode, I do play career mode quite a lot. And, you know, one of my favorite modes apart from career mode is the training mode. I love yeah. doing the advanced shooting yeah. drills, the advanced uh, tackling drills, and the yeah. passing drills. And to have that implemented into career mode and feel like you're actually training your player is going to give you so much more ownership of your team. Exactly. And, you know, I think that it, it gives you so many more options as well because you can't, you don't, you know, you can go and train like Costa in how to shoot, but ultimately he's pretty good already. So yeah. the benefit won't be as big. You might be able to get him up maybe one point or something like okay. that. Um, you know, but if you go with a younger player with higher potential, you can really start to grow those players a bit more quickly. Mm. So it gives you more control over that. It gives you then more options where you can then, you know, maybe take some youth players, um, train them up. Maybe you can sell them on. If you're, you know, a smaller club, it, it's another way to get funds in. Yep. Um, but maybe you can bring them into the first team a bit more quickly. So, you know, previously it would take quite a while for those players to grow well enough to get into your first team, but now it gives you a little bit more options, a bit more flexibility to do that. And it's not just um, a case of sending that on loan or bringing them on for the final 10 minutes exactly. to get their stacked up. You know, um, which is also a sort of fun thing to do as well. You know, the little no-touch there. You see oh, the lovely shimmy. stuff. Good tackle. Lovely feet. And Costa, and it's Fabregas, oh. and oh, just, just straight at the keeper. Couldn't get out of his feet. Couldn't get it out of his feet. But, um, you know, like you were saying before about uh, the new the career mode, also is the... The, the, with the training is that that's going to maybe you know change a player like say Joe Gomez for Liverpool yeah. who top yeah. player did yeah. sign would you be able to kind of use him as a raw player and like you know shape him up and maybe yes. make him a left back rather than a centre back that kind of thing yeah so there's, there's obviously limits to it you, you're you not going to make John Terry the best striker in the world um, but you know what you can do is build up his defensive ability like you said you talked about there as, def uh, as Gomez defending wise mm. uh, you can do that you can maybe make him a better passer yeah. uh, as well um, but you know the, 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 the potential and the growth is also dependent on position oh great save for Courtois there um, one other thing we could mention maybe you could switch it on quickly is the trainer so we've got training and then there's the trainer so you know I know a lot of our core fans maybe think this isn't something for them but we're only going to see the basic controls right here but you can actually start to see much more advanced controls so, okay. um, you know but this is a great way for some of our newer players to come in learn the basics but we also show you things like advanced controls, like, you know, triple tap crosses as well. Um, you know, lob through balls, different ways to play the game. So we think this is important. It's, it's helping new players, but also some players that are playing FIFA for a couple of years, so maybe some more advanced controls. And, you know, if there's a, like a really good FIFA player, you'll be able to see the way they play and what yeah. combinations of buttons they're using it, to, to play the game. Exactly. What a goal oh, by words. So that is actually some new, new logic there for the goalkeeper, just the way they step back, yep. uh, sort of move back towards the goal. Obviously had a couple, a few issues around goalkeeper last year, but he's actually able to track back better nice. uh, as well. And will the, you know, this new train, uh, trainer mode, will that, like, you know, you see a lot of times you'll see the FIFA great yeah. goals where you'll see Ronaldo do a crazy back hill yes. kind of free kick or do some crazy skill. Yeah. Will, that, will that be part of that as well? Uh, in terms of telling you what he's just yeah. done? It's, it's, no, it's basically just contextual to say in this situation... This you is might, what you should you do. Oh, do. Okay. Not what you should, but you could do. It's not like... He's through. Oh, oh, offside. It's, it's not like, the, you know, this is the perfect thing to do. This is just some suggestions about what you might want to try. And obviously, you've got all the new kits here. That's a big thing. I yeah. mean, you know, the new Chelsea, I mentioned before the hoops, but, the, you know, the new Chelsea kit, the yes. new sponsors. Absolutely. And I think, you know, people get so, I get so excited by that. Right. You know, just the new kits and the new look. Yeah. And, uh, it's, you know, it's, there's, there's so much. I, I can't wait to see the Charlton kit and see what that's like. <laughs> and, you know, there's so much authenticity yeah. to FIFA now. This. So, so, again, that was another pass with purpose, we call it. That was the harder pass there. I, I had to make the pass with Banovic. I don't know what doing. He's just... Yeah. Diego Costa was just waiting in the middle. Yeah. He just needs to finish, really. Finish. The problem with Chelsea is they always try and walk in. Yeah, well, he's obviously the, he's trying that. But yeah, you can see... You, know, you the, can see the coverage of the players a little bit more defensively as yeah, well. The, the, you know, the, they were very much sticking to their man previously, whereas now they'll, they're much more likely to try and defend, defend their space. space. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I said, you know, that's what I always try and do. You know, when I'm playing career mode, I always sell my defender yeah. short. And yeah. you know, you've got to defend that space and yeah. wait for the ball in. And 
and make the difference there. No one there for Chelsea. I'm playing with one contact lens at the moment. I think that's, uh, that's worse than the red card. <laughs> Right, he, so there you go. One that, nil. That's kind of like you know a complete game. Uh, you get the idea. As if you're at Gamescom, this is the build. You can come and play on the. Messi's show floor. new tattoo there Messi's, as well. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, we've done some work on the faces as well, just improving some of the facial textures for some of the bigger players. You know, you're always going to get. You know, we try and build in the atmosphere as well. We did a lot of work of changing the way we do all the the replays a couple of years ago. Yeah, and, you I, know, we try and obviously build on that each year. I'm a huge fan of this replay system. Yeah. I, I love, especially after a big game with lots yeah. of incidents. Yeah, you, I mean, you get to see. You sit back and review it. Yeah, and you can see the graphical fidelity there. Like you can see the difference in the facial structures and stuff. Yeah. Oh, lovely skills from Willian. So I don't know if we've got time for one. We can maybe start another.